I'm not only a transplant surgeon, I'm a two-time transplant recipient. When I was eight years old, I had strep throat. That infection caused me to go into kidney failure. I was on dialysis for nine months, and then two days before Christmas, I got a kidney from a nine-month-old baby boy. The day of surgery, the surgeon asked me what I wanted to be when I grow up. I made my decision right then that I would be a transplant surgeon. It was a goal I accomplished with my transplanted kidney in me the whole time. Then, in 2015, about 27 years after my first transplant, I began to have problems. I knew it was going to be soon time for a new kidney. Unfortunately, transplant kidneys don't last forever, but 27 years is pretty good. This time, I was set on getting a living donor, because living donor kidneys last longer and patients do a lot better. Plus, I was determined to avoid dialysis the second time around. I truly had no idea how frustrating finding a living donor would be or how long it would take me to find a suitable living kidney donor. Many of my friends and relatives came forward. I emailed everyone again and again. I posted on social media too. One time I put a picture of myself with my son and said, this boy needs a mom who can function and that helped find more people. I don't even know who all came forward to consider being a living donor because the screening process is confidential. It starts with a survey and some people are ruled out then. Next come labs and that was when most of my family was ruled out. Eventually, after the CT scan, my husband was ruled out as a donor as well. With both of my transplants and with trying to find a living donor, there were many ups and downs, frustrating bumps in the road, but persistence and patience finally paid off. After seven months of looking for a living kidney donor, I was getting a kidney from an anonymous donor as part of a paired kidney exchange. Basically, if someone has a donor, but they're not a match, we can swap kidneys among a group to get more people transplanted. My donor, whom I didn't know at the time, had her kidney removed, and then one of my colleagues, who I work with every day, transplanted this kidney into me. After the transplant, I woke up and I felt better immediately. Of course, it takes time to recover from surgery, but I felt so much better with a functioning kidney. I still had no idea who my donor was. All I knew was that she was a woman in her 40s. We agreed to meet. She and her daughters met my son and me at a pottery painting spot, and we spent the afternoon together. How do you thank someone for saving your life? There really is no way. All I can say is thank you. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you again. Felicia came forward and donated a kidney so someone in her family could get a living donor kidney as part of the paired kidney exchange. Her selfless act means a much better life for me. I now have another donor kidney inside of me, a living donor kidney that is working really well. Though it was not easy to get, it took a lot of time and effort. The journey to and through transplant can be tough, but it is worth it.